Pepain. 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 I've never heard anyone else ever say it out loud, so I don't know the proper way to pronounce it. But this is one of my favorites because it comes from papayas, and I like to eat papayas. Yeah. And I first learned of its existence because I went to a Brazilian steakhouse and ate my weight in grilled marinated meats, and then they brought out a papaya sorbet for dessert, wow. and the waiter... And I was in the service industry for eight years. I never saw anything like this when I was doing it. And I didn't know these things when I was a server. Um, the server explained papaya and the enzyme and how when you eat way too much of food, like I had just done, that eating the papaya sorbet at the end of the meal could actually be helpful. And he said, makes it so you don't go home on your couch and turn into a bowling ball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and because you were at a Brazilian restaurant, you probably ate a lot of meat, right? Because they're all the ste the Brazilian steakhouse, the gaucho style. And yeah, with the is, yeah, with the swords. I, I mean, I love that meat. Oh, and you so go good. crazy. Just um, keep that, that card on green and keep it coming. Um, but papain, yes, uh, like you said, it's from papaya. Um, it's a very well-known enzyme. It, it is great at tenderizing meat, too, so you can use it I as a marinade. Um, in uh, in tenderizing meat, but it's uh, but it's also very good for digestion uh, and very important for digestion as well. There's some good studies on its systemic benefits. It works well with uh, bromelain as well. So in formulas where you find papain, you'll often find bromelain, and together they do work well together to help with uh, joint pain and joint inflammation. Um, and uh, and it's a perfectly safe, uh, great for digestion and great for systemic anti-inflammatory as well. Cool, and tons of research out there on that one. Yeah, papain is well known and and pretty well researched. And and like I said before, you know, and enzymes rarely work alone together. So I always like to see formulas that have multiple of these enzymes together because they all do slightly different things or vastly different things depending on what system we're talking about. So um, you know, in nature, you would find more of a combination of these things in the nat in its natural state. And so um, it's important to see papain with the bromelain and trips in and those kind of things together and preferably with like guys with swords and giant things of meat i like yeah, all exactly. of my pain to come with that right <laughs> i'd always heard of those places and i never went to one for a long time which is horrible and then i went and it was like where has this been all my life and oh, i think no. there's something psychological about all you can eat pricing yes um because then you feel challenged Yep. Or, oh, I just spent, you know, and it's weird. I've been to uh, Fogo de Chao and Tejas de Brazil in various cities. Yeah. And the price for the dinner is not uniform. Oh, it's, really? No, oh, it's I completely it was different. Nope. Oh, okay. In Vegas, it was $15 cheaper than it is in Chicago. And in San Diego, it's $10 more than Chicago. So, wow. um, I found that interesting. But when you're you're paying big top dollar for this dinner... And you can literally have as much of the meats off the swords as you want. The psychology is, well, I'm going to get my $57 worth, which is a plate like this of meat. And so the sorbet comes in very handy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, yeah. and then another note on another fruit that will help you digest. And there's an enzyme in this fruit, but it hasn't quite been commercialized yet, but kiwi. Uh, kiwi has a proteolytic enzyme too. That's uh, that's very powerful. In fact, you can if you take little slices of kiwi, you can mar you can uh, marinate meat with it as well to tenderize it. But if you've eaten a lot of meat, like a big burger, a steak, whatever, and and you don't have access to papaya, uh, eat a kiwi. It'll help you with the digestion as well. I figured that out on my own, actually. Oh, you did? I, one okay. time I had kiwis around, and I had heard some rumor of kiwi being used in a marinade or something. So I sliced up some kiwis and threw it on a flank steak. Well, I put a, a couple other things in there, but uh, definitely there was two whole kiwis I threw in there, and yeah. it definitely worked. It was very tender. Yeah. And regarding kiwis, I don't know how we got on this sub. Well, yeah, I know. But now we're talking about kiwis. I just recently learned that you can eat the skin of a kiwi, and so now I just lop off the ends and then cut it into slices because I used to – I love kiwis, and I never ate them because they're a pain to peel and to deal right. with. So you can eat the skin if a little furriness doesn't bother you. And uh, <laughs> that, that has reintroduced kiwis into my life, so – 